Hi, today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that is pretty simple to change in your planning operations, yet can have a big impact on your bottom line. I'm talking about how you maintain optimal downforce from your planter so you get the best seed to soil contact across your field at planting time. Now I'm not telling you something you don't know when I say the soil and terrain across your field can vary significantly. But when it's time to roll the planter through the field, properly controlling planter downforce is critical to your yield and your pocketbook. On the one hand, when a row unit applies too little downforce, the row unit tends to ride up, leaving seeds planted too shallow. These may not even germinate. On the other hand, seeds planted with too much downforce can experience compaction that causes problems with root development. That means lost yield potential. So let's talk about your field. Unfortunately, most fields are not perfectly flat and they don't have the same soil type across the entire field. If they did, well, farming would be a lot easier. But if you look at a typical field, you'll see a variety of different soil types across, like this. You may have hard clay soil in one area and sandy soil in the next. The problem is, if your planter isn't set up to adjust its downforce as it crosses the field with these different types of soils and terrains, your seed may end up planted improperly, either too shallow or with so much downforce that the seed will be compacted in the soil and fail to develop a good root structure. In fact, some studies show that not planting at proper depth across the field can equate to 10 to 15 bushels per acre in yield loss. And that doesn't even account for the cost of the seed or other inputs. The solution? Today's planters can be equipped with downforce systems designed to ensure planter row units maintain good soil contact by changing the force pushing down on the planter based on field conditions. The most common system is a pneumatic downforce system that adjusts the downforce of the planter as the gauge wheels sense changes due to factors like terrain or soil type. It adjusts downforce using airbags that inflate and deflate depending on the reading from the gauge wheels. The problem is these systems can take 15 to 20 seconds to completely respond to a change by inflating or deflating. And you can travel a long way across a field in 15 15 to 20 seconds. But there is a better solution. Ag Leader Hydraulic Downforce. The newest downforce technology from Ag Leader is hydraulically powered. That means it senses and responds to soil and terrain changes almost instantly. As soon as the gauge wheels indicate that the planter section needs more or less pressure, the hydraulic actuator responds completely within one or two seconds. So, is that a big deal? Well, take a look at this. Say you're pulling a 24 row planter at four or five miles per hour. The difference between a downforce adjustment of one second from Ag Leader Hydraulic Downforce compared to 15 to 20 seconds for the pneumatic airbag system is equal to about a quarter of an acre. That's a quarter acre of planting before the planter adjusts completely to the proper downforce. And if your soils change regularly across your field, your planter may be playing catch up a lot of the time, costing you in yield potential and seed costs. Let's take a closer look at how this works in the field. In the pneumatic airbag system, the planter is sensing a change in weight on the gauge wheels. This could be the result of a number of things. Crossing over grain cart tracks in the field, row units wandering outside of the tilled strip, even areas of heavy residue or changes in soil type. The airbags begin to inflate, but the seed is planted too shallow until the planter fully adjusts 150 feet later. And like we mentioned earlier, seed that is planted too shallow is at risk of not even germinating. As the soil type or terrain changes again back to looser soil, the planter adjusts again. But for up to 15 to 20 seconds, plants at an excessive downforce because the airbag takes time to adjust, leaving the seed trench compacted and causing the seed to have a difficult time developing a good root system. 
With hydraulic downforce, the gauge wheels continuously sense the force applied on them from the ground and adjust the hydraulic system accordingly. As terrain and soil changes cause the gauge wheels to sense more or less downforce, the hydraulics adjust instantly, ensuring that the planter maintains the proper planting downforce without the ramping effect that the airbag systems experience. The results? more consistent seed trench across the field. What does that mean? It means better yield potential at harvest time. You can learn more about hydraulic downforce for your planter from AgLeader. Visit agleader.com.